guys it's the consistent queen back again with another video i mean as you guys know we are consistent if you're new here thank you for tuning in don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing trust me you're gonna love it here and if you are a returning subscriber then thank you for coming back so as you can tell from the title of this video today, I'm going to be sharing advice for women in their early 20s. I myself am a woman in my early 20s, but I've had the privilege of conversing with older women, women in their late 20s, women in their early 30s, women in their early 40s, and I've compiled some advice that they've given me. As some of you may know, my mom unfortunately passed away, so I really appreciate being able to have these conversations with these older women and the points that i'm going to be sharing now are the ones that really resonated with me and i feel like every young girl should know these things so without further ado let's get into the video i have everything typed out in my notes app because i literally did not want to miss a single point so i will be referring to my phone every now and then the first one is no one is coming to save you you need to save yourself this one should be pretty self-explanatory, but for the people that are a little bit unsure, basically, don't wait for people to help you out. Take the initiative to help yourself out. Yes, it's all good and well to accept help from other people, but what have you done to help yourself? What have you done to improve yourself? What have you done to, you know, improve your situation? There's always something that you can do to help yourself, and you should do it. Don't just wait for your parents or your partner or your friends to you know help you out of the situation you should also try to help yourself the second one is honor yourself to be selective with who and what you give your energy to this one is so so important guys because what you give your energy to is what will continue to grow and if you're giving your energy to the wrong things to the wrong people you're literally going to lose sight of your direction you're going to lose sight of the life that you want for yourself the more you entertain something you don't want the further away you're going to stray from the stuff that you do want so just be just be mindful of everything that you do and also this sort of links with doing things with intention like literally always be intentional with everything that you do because when your intention is clear your direction will also be clear Thirdly, building secrets. The fourth one is focus on building independent wealth. So this kind of links with the first one about literally do it for yourself, girl. Period. Because <laughs> literally, once you manage to get that education and another thing, it's so, so important to go to school, get that degree. Like, it literally doesn't matter if it took you like seven years to get a four-year degree as long as you get it because literally education is one thing that nobody can ever take away from you so get your education straight build wealth for yourself build a name for yourself don't rely on i am so and so's daughter i am so and so's girlfriend i'm so and so's whatever i'm so and so's friend no you need to have a name for yourself your name needs to carry weight on its own and the next one is all about doing things alone i know it seems so so scary but literally it's so liberating to be able to do things by yourself to not need anybody to hold your hand or to accompany you be it something as small as going out for lunch by yourself or going on that solo trip because like people will really disappoint you hey people will really disappoint you and you shouldn't be afraid to be by yourself to do things alone and also the more you do things by yourself and the more you do things alone you build more confidence in yourself and you should also do the inner work so if you can go to therapy go to therapy if you can journal journal actually i feel like everybody can journal because literally all you need is a pen and a piece of paper or you could just do it on your notes app like literally write down your feelings and for me I have this book that I use to journal. It's called the 5 Minute Journal. It looks like this. So it's by well-being and being well. I'm going to put the link to the journal in the description box for anybody who's interested. Don't forget to leave situations that no longer serve you. So basically, cut your losses, hey? Cut your losses while it's still early. Don't wait to see how 
red the flag can get. Mm -mm. You will save yourself so much time, so much heartbreak, so much energy if you leave situations that no longer serve you, if you leave people that no longer align with you. And also another thing, it's not so much so about like matching people's energies, but find people whose energies match yours. So if you are here, the goal should be to stay here. You don't have to go down to match somebody's energy. You must stay here and find other people who are also here so that you guys can go there. And I cannot emphasize this enough. Guys, please live with intention, live with peace, live with love. I started doing this and it's made all the difference in my life. Like literally, everything is much more clear now that I'm moving with intention. So if you can, just always be mindful of everything. Always take cognizance of everything that you do, everything that you participate in, anything that you give your time of day to. Be intentional with everything. And lastly, allow calmness to be your superpower. So in the Bible, they say, peace be still. And literally, just be still. <laughs> I know it sounds so... But literally, that's all you need to do sometimes. Just slow down. Be still. Give yourself time to mourn your feelings, acknowledge your feelings. And not saying dwell there. Acknowledge your feelings. Be still in them. Then move on. Sometimes... In life you just need to you need to take a break you need to take a break you need to give yourself yourself time to process things be still guys like be calm in every situation don't overreact I know that it sounds so <laughs> like girl what do you mean don't overreact because nobody does that on purpose but literally if you take time to think about what you're gonna say before you say it you won't overreact like trust me ever since i started doing that i don't really overreact anymore so it's really helped me a lot and i hope that it also helps you now we have reached the end of the video i hope that it was helpful to someone out there <laughs> i really hope it was helpful to someone out there and um i might do a part two depending on if i've gathered like more advice that i really 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 want to share more advice that really resonates with me so thank you so so much for watching until next time this is it from the consistent queen bye